Okay, I, I think we're rolling. Today we're going to be looking at um, multiplying and dividing numbers by 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. Now these are sort of common decimals that um, people often get confused with, but I'm going to show you some shortcuts or explain what they actually mean. So um, it might be a bit more logical by the, by the end of this. Okay, if I'm actually multiplying or asked to multiply a number by 0.1, what it really means is I'm dividing it by 10. So if you remember that rule, so having a look, 30 times by 0.1 is the same thing as 30 divided by 10. So 30 divided, divided by 10, we can remove the zero or we'll move one place. Uh, so that becomes three. In the same way, let's look at this example here. 23 times 0.1 means I've got to do 23 divided by 10. So as I haven't got a zero on the end, I've got to move a decimal point up to give me an answer of 2.3. And the last little example we'll do here in this section is if I've got 3 times 0.1, well, uh, I've got, it means 3 divided by 10, so I've moved a decimal point over here to give me 0 0.3. So to recap, multiplying by 10, sorry, multiplying by 0 0.1, is exactly the same thing as divided by 10. Okay, um, equally, if we're going the other way around, or going backwards, so if we're dividing by 0.1, it is exactly the same thing as multiplying by 10. So if you see a sum 5 divided by 0.1, all it means is 5 times 10, and 5 tens are 50. In the same way, if you see 3.2 divided by 0.1, it means 3.2 times 10. So I move the decimal point gives us 32. So I'll move the decimal point over there to give you 32. 3.2 divided by 0.1. Okay, let's go to the next section now, and this is when we're dealing with 0.5. So if I am going to be multiplying by 0.5, the sum is asking me to multiply by 0.5. All it means is, is I'm actually halving the number. So 50 times 0.5 means half of 50. Half of 50 is 25, whole number there. Okay, um, if I've got an odd number and I'm halving an odd number, uh, remember we're gonna have a 0.5 in the answer. So 21 times 0.5, half of 21 is 10 and a half, or 10.5. So recapping, Multiplying by 0.5 is exactly the same thing as halving a number. Going the other way again, if you're dividing by 0.5, all it means is you're doubling the number. We'll only do one of these because we all know how to double things. So 20 divided by 0.5 is the same as double 20 or 20 times 2, which is 40. Okay, now the trickiest one out of these is if we're looking at 0.2. We've actually got to do two things. Multiplying by 0.2 means really dividing by five. But if you can't get dividing by five in your head straight away, you can actually break it down into two stages. So if I see a sum where I've got to multiply something by 0.2, what it means is a double number, first of all, and then I divide that answer by 10. So let's try here. 70 times by 0.2 means I double my 70 to give me 140 and then I use that 140 to divide it by 10 to give me 14. Okay, so 12 times 0.2, remember in the two stages, double my 12 to give you 24 and then 24 divided by 10 gives me 2.4. So you've got to think of two stages um, remember, melting together, it means if you divide at a time by 0.2, it's the same thing as divided by 5, but use this um, method, this two stage measures to break up the sum. In the same way, dividing by 2 actually means multiplying by 5. But let's make sure that we've got the stages to do it. Uh, so if we're dividing by 0.2, let's do it in two stages. We're going to multiply a number by 10 first, and then we're going to halve that answer. So 30. 
divided by 0.2 means 30 times 10, which is 300. Half the answer gives me 150. And then finally, 6.6 .6 divided by 0.2, well, 6.6 .6 times 10 is 66, and we halve the 66 to give us 33. So that is how you deal with sums where you're multiplying or dividing numbers by the decimals of 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.2.